Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing a Tinker Crate, and I'm excited to get into this box and let my son get at it. So if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today, to give you different curriculum and organizational ideas, and also ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button, and let's open this crate. So this month, this crate says it's a gimbal plane, which just sounds really cool. <laughs> says build a spinning plane and explore engineering with gimbals. I honestly don't know what a gimbal is, so hopefully this month we will be able to learn. So when we open it up, it has our blueprints on top, and this box is pretty light, so it'll be interesting to see what's even in here. So we have, I think, a slight picture. You can kind of see the plane up here of maybe what we're gonna build. Oh, here's a better picture over here. So then we have our blueprints there. We have our book that this will probably teach me more about gimbals. So this will be good for me to read. And then it just has some extra activities, some background, some just fun things that I enjoy reading this. Oh, and this, sometimes they have something you can use your crate, your box for. And then it has some tips here for propellers. Propellers, <laughs> that sounded so weird. I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> so these are always good. I feel like their troubleshooting ideas are always so, so helpful. When we do have problems, they usually work and we're able to figure it out. So our battery pack, it looks like right here. And then our plane is right here. And then some more pieces for our plane. That's probably why this is so light because the plane is made out of this like thicker, paper, cardstock, kinda. And then we have a whole bunch of foam. This looks like um, tissue paper. <laughs> I'm like, what is it even called? And then some thicker orange foam is what this is at the back. And then we have our battery with some more cords right here. And then a few wood pieces. I'm used to getting so many wood pieces in these crates, but this month, not so much. And then, <coughs> sorry, I've been talking a lot this morning. My throat is really dry. And so, and then we have propeller things, I think, and some toothpicks here. So it'll be fun to see how this all goes together. And I'm sure my son is really gonna love it. So I'm gonna let him get at it and we will let you know how it goes. finished his tinker crate and I feel like this is one of the best ones we've had in a while. I think it's I think it's really cool and just a lot of fun. So I'm gonna show it to you. I have video of us flying it as well but here it is. It's the gimbal plane or whatever something like that <laughs> and it's gonna spin all by itself. I don't even have to turn on the battery. I, I don't know if I dare turn it on here. Should we try it and see? So it turns on right here. I don't know how stable it will be but and then it flies. So I just think it's so cool. And it'll speed up as it gets going and stuff like that. And then, you know, to have to stop it, you have to grab it and let it run for a second. But I think this is really awesome. And it comes with some paper so you can make a little sign. It's hard to see, but it says happy Pokemon day because he loves Pokemon. So he also added the tell that says happy Pokemon day. And it gives you two, he stuck them together. So he'd have a really, really long tell. So that was, that was cute as well. And most of it was fairly easy for him to put together. I think, so at the end when we went to use it, it wasn't working, but the battery was right and all this wiring looked right. So it was this part, cause the wire comes down this straw right here and comes in to the fan right here. And so I just pushed it a little bit and it snapped in and then just started spinning. So that might be a problem. And then also it was flying backwards, which my son thought was the greatest thing ever. But 
they think of everything and have all the troubleshooting here. You know, if it's the propeller is not spinning, which is a problem we had. I didn't look at this when that was the problem because I, I wasn't thinking about it, but it tells you right here, or if it's flying really slow, but this was our problem. If the plane is flying backwards and it just tells you to switch the wires right here and connect them just the opposite way that they're connected. And once we did that, it flew forward, <laughs> even though my son wished it still flew backward, but we can just switch them if he wants. And then something else I thought was cool, we haven't done this, but it comes with these resistors. It's really hard to see. There's one right here, and then there's also one that goes right here. So apparently you can take them off and not have them at all. You can add both of them in, or you can change them because they're slightly different. This one looks a little different than that one. And it gives some instructions in the book and tells that, you know, it might fly faster, it might fly slow and steady, or it just keeps, if you don't have any resistors, it says it's a speed demon. So that could be true too. We'll have to try it out and see. So that was a really cool find I just discovered. But then I also just love the information in this book. I've only had a chance to kind of glance through it, but I realized I'm like, oh, I know kind of what gimbals are. They're in so many things around us, but I just wasn't thinking, oh, that's what it is. So, you know, for space, as things move, but you, they want them to stay the same direction or whatever, that's, that's a gimbal. And then, you know, with motion in the ocean, it talks about how they're used, how that same format is used. And then obviously with filming, it's used a lot, you know, and you have these cameras so that that part gets held steady, even when you're running or, you know, doing something really fast, it still looks like a smooth shot. So, I thought this was a great resource for learning more about it because I just didn't know that much. So I think there wasn't really too much he struggled with besides, like I said, just not pushing things all the way. He even did the zip ties right here, mostly by himself. I just helped a little. And so it was a fairly simple craft to put, a, to put together, but I think it's one of my favorites. I just think it's so cool and the kids love watching it go and I love that he could decorate it. So. I'm excited to see what next month brings because this one set high expectations. <laughs> so if you like seeing these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.